Good. How does it feel to be 10 minutes early? Good. How come your face is always dirty? Can we get a ride down to the barn? Oh, right. Yeah, High five to that. A ride to the barn. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, back to the barn. Awesome. Yeah, yeah like Let's yesterday, you had to walk in the snow, didn't you? Yeah. In a blizzard, no less. We couldn't see. You couldn't see? <laughs> Lots of snow. It snowed again last night. Look at all that snow. Hi, guys. It's my day off, and Laura sent me to the store to do some shopping. How crazy is that? I want a day off. I'm here to get some stuff to fix our bunny crate. And maybe get a carpet. So I'm here back to the store getting these things. We bought them last time and then I took them back and say why do that when I have dog pens? I just remembered I have another dog pen, so why do I really need that? I'm gonna call Laura and find out if I should just go home. But or buy these. Uh, the reason why we're buying these or I might use the other dog pen is because we have a girl bunny now, so now we gotta keep them separated. Good morning guys, this is my best day ever. I'm still in my pajamas and I'm getting to clean and organize our house. Starting with the bunny hutch, which is almost emptied now. All right, so I have totally reinvented the bunny, pet, the bunny room. Um, I, say, I just let Sam know all the things I wanna do. And if you guys don't know this about Sam, it's the same with a lot of men. They get frustrated when you have them help you with something and then you rip it all apart and you want them to help you again. So he's like a little bit like, oh, okay, fine. But anyway, it's so nice out here today and we're going to revamp the bunny area so that it's more user friendly, better for them, better for us, and no more shavings ever again. Those things are the death of me. You guys ready to move? all day. Excited to see the girl. Hello. How was camp? Good. It's cold in here. Hello. Hi. How are you? Because Blue is being a jerk at that corner. Where is he? I can't do it on text. What? I can't do it on text. Uh, high five. Chipped. You finally got to canter your horse. She Hi. Well, you he chipped his hook. The bear's coming to check it out tomorrow. Uh, was it bad? It's like a he tried to canter the wall. Yeah, yeah, he went deep into the skin. Yeah. Was it bleeding? So did you have a good day? Did you have a good day? Are you tired? Are you tired? Two days of camp is really exhausting. And there they go. All right, girls, how is, how is camp? Are you guys exhausted? <laughs> no, kind of. I have to switch horses. Yeah. So, no, three times. we got the story that Blue has been a crazy spooky. So what happened? Sophia was supposed to ride Blue. I was supposed to ride Sabrina. And then Blue spooked and the little girl cried, but she stayed on. And um, the little girl switched horses to one of the ones that wasn't tacked up and wasn't Blue. And that horse happened to be Sabrina, because only Sabrina or Tex. And Tex, no. So, it had to be Sabrina. So the little girl that fell yesterday, apparently Blue was super spooky. He almost threw yeah. off one of the older riders today. He spooked at a man-eating pile of hay. There's a man-eating pile of hay and Blue was just too terrified. <laughs> so. Yeah, so then uh, the little girl rode Sabrina, I rode Blue, Sophia rode Sabrina, and then I couldn't ride Blue because he wouldn't actually go to the to A, he just like run back. Yeah, but luckily so, I had a handle on my saddle, so I just held that. So Fiona said that she put Gabby on blue, thinking, okay, well, like at least Gabby can control blue, which is why Gabby rides blue, and in the first place. And Gabby got on him and could not control him. He just was running away because he was terrified. He, nobody could ride him today. So the little girl rode Sabrina, and I love that. You guys love she that. Did really well <laughs> on Sabrina. She had no handle on her saddle. She was really it's, smooth and she actually rise like did did rising trot really well because Sabrina's smooth. And so I was like, I want her to see how smooth Sabrina is and stop walking as blue. Yeah. So and scared. yeah, and it's true. And uh, some of you guys were saying in yesterday's video that um, uh, Sabrina really favors Sophie. And I said that to Fiona today. I said, 
Sabrina's really good with little girls. Like, the smaller they are, the better she is. And um, Fiona said yes, that she notices the same thing. She takes care of Sophia. She acts like Sophia is her baby. And then we were discussing how that's, that's uh, Sabrina's job. She does lessons. She's a lesson horse to little tiny walk trot girls. That's all the size of kids that usually ride her. So it must be something that she's used to. But then I said probably she's just so smart that she sees the little tiny girls get on her. And she's like, oh, phew, I hardly have to do anything. So she's really good to the little girls because she, they, they don't make her do much. Do you think that's what oh, it is? She was so fast. She's I had being to led. about stopping after blue i had to switch to spencer which i was okay with with because he's smooth and i felt like i was galloping on him because kaylee followed me on text because i lead led and like i had to kick him every single stride and kiss like stride like kick yeah it was a crazy day at horse cam it was just crazy everything it's just it's winter you guys it's just winter and i was saying to fiona how Blue has been super spooky ever since we were walking up from the barn and a goose ran across the path in front of him. I'm like, never in the world, in my wildest dreams would I ever oh, think like, that a goose would just run and pa like, run across from him. Would you believe that we spent the whole entire day working on the bunny stuff and we're not even close to being finished? And it's crazy to me how much we adjust. Make a mess of my it's room. It's crazy to me. Yeah, Gabby, your room's a mess. It's crazy to me all the stuff that we buy for our pets. So we were at the grocery store. And we ended up buying these kind of carrots. So we buy carrots for us. We buy carrots for Sabrina. And we buy carrots like this now for the bunny. Oh, now you put this in my room. Yeah, now I put that in your room. And it's a mess right now. Yeah, your room is Thank a mess. Thank you, bunnies. And this room is a mess. And which room's the girl? Probably that one. No. So this is what we have so far. We're working on it though. We have a pen for the boys. And a pen for the girls that they're just keeping right now. Oh, that built a... But we're working on it. It's going to look a lot better. But you're going to have to lift that up. Hey, yeah, buddy, so... Let me in, Mom. So we... There should be a hole there on the Yeah, house. a bigger hole, huh? So Sam put some plastic on the, on the window, if you guys can tell. I don't know if you can see. Gabby's moving it around there. Careful, don't poke a hole through that. And then... He built this. No, 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 it has to stay on there. I know, just like, there's care in it? Cause I climb up there. Yeah, they climb up there, and I worry that if she climbs up there, she'll just hop down and then hop into the boys' pen, and then babies. No, so I have stuff I'm gonna put on the floor here for them so it's soft. <laughs> oh, uh oh, don't lift it up. Dad's it? gonna fix that. So Sam built that little box, but I'm gonna get him to cut the whole front off of it because we can't get, it makes it impossible to catch them. But maybe they'll come out if they see the carrots. Let's try that. Oh. No, it has to go all the way on the top. Yeah. There you go. Show them the green side, Sophie. Lure them out from the green side. Yeah, probably some of you guys already know this, but rabbit jumping is a huge sport. It's a huge sport. Now we can use that as our training area. So tomorrow, we're going to start fresh training our baby bunnies to jump. Do you want to train them to jump? Well, my baby bunny. Yeah, they're going to be uh, on, such good bunny. jumpers. Oh, oh, there comes one. My bunny. She's like, she's like, give me that. She's like, yum. That's my favorite part of the carrot. <coughs> All right, back to work. My cuddle bug. My cuddle bug. All right, it's safe to say that we are in love with our bunnies. It has been a busy, busy day. I literally spent the whole entire day 
washing blankets, changing sheets, washing everything so our beds are all fresh. And are you excited to sleep in a fresh bed tonight, Sophie? Yeah. Let's see, she's having nail issues. Her nail grew so huge. So, you guys missed this today, but at the barn, um, the new horse chipped his hoof and they had to call the farrier. It's been almost three weeks that they've had him. What happened to our horse when we had her for three weeks? Colic. Yeah, I'm gonna start thinking that maybe there's something that happens when you first get a horse at the three week mark. Something that tests every new horse person, huh? Yeah. Yeah. First colic with us, then um. Yeah, like colic, I prefer the chipped. Hoof, I think. Yeah. Or colic, but still, yeah, craziness. I also cut all of her dog's nails. I cut the bunny's nails. It's just been a busy day. Our bunny hutch is a work in progress, and I'm gonna update you tomorrow, because tomorrow's gonna be the day that I am gonna finish it. I'm not happy with it still, but I'm a little bit happier with it now. Can I help? Yeah, and what else are we gonna do tomorrow? Nothing. Uh, jumping our bunnies. Jumping our bunnies. Oh, yeah. I think he can jump high. He I lost saw him jump. Tunnels. I saw him jump today. Like crazy jumping today. <laughs> like how jump? So high. So now our baby bunnies are separated from the bigger bunny just because she's the a baby girl. Baby bunnies. Yeah. And Boy bunnies. Yeah. They're babies too. Anyway, it's unfortunate that she has to be on her own. It's something I just have to do until I get them fixed, and then hopefully that they can all be together. I want a gelding bunny. <laughs> this one. Mom, they're like, they're married. I'm so in love with Sabrina. I, I don't know if you guys caught that, but um, a blue was being awful at the at the camp today, and a little beginner girl, tiny little girl, was having so much trouble. She was really afraid to ride him. And Fiona asked the girls if they if she could ride Sabrina, and what'd you say? Yeah, sure. We don't care. Yeah, they were like, yeah, of course you can ride her, and she rode her, and she loved riding her, and I was really proud. <laughs> trying to open these treats from a subscriber, which is not like her. Yeah, Macy does not like treats, but she sure likes those treats. A comment of the day goes to Sherry Terrell, and she says, don't separate them forever, which is not our intention, for sure. Um, just simply neuter the males. Even if you didn't have a female, it is still beneficial to neuter male rabbits. We are going to do that. The, they live longer and they are healthier. Also, if there is a female around and they are not neutered, they will begin to mark their territory and it will be thoroughly disgusting. Yeah, we do not want thoroughly disgusting. Neuter your rabbits, please. I would really appreciate it if you address this in your next video. Done. We addressed it. We are going to neuter our males and I'm going to call about it tomorrow, see how much it is, what's involved, all that kind of stuff because these boys need to get thick. Are you okay with that? Yeah. I swear you're allergic to them. I just got something in the sky. Look at this guy. He's laying on top of his sister. Look at him. He's all cuddled up with her. He's like, I missed you. They were separated for like an hour. I missed you so much. <laughs> Mom, it says your dog will love the beef flavor of gravy train. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Wait, don't move. I gotta take a picture. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.